Well, Alan, Veronica, the flight is scheduled to take off here from SFO in the next 20 minutes. It was at the United counter that Maria Mendoza Sanchez checked in for the flight that will take her family to Mexico City. She, her husband Eusebio, and their son will take off tonight, leaving behind her three daughters, including one whose immigration status is currently protected by DACA. I'm leaving as I do. Uh, it's hard. I wish I don't have to leave my kids behind, but I really like to follow the law. And although I've been offered sanctuary in many places, Taking it is a federal offense. And I, when I came to this country, I was very young. Back then, I didn't really understand what it meant, what had happened. I didn't come because I was trying to violate anybody's rules. I came pretty much because I was young and in love. But things happen as I grow up and I went to school and, and, and I understand the, how like the in a way kind of severity of the fence, I tried to make it right. And I, in a way, turned my family in. And, and uh, I try, I try, guys, I tried since 2002. Every single thing I could, everything failed, and I'm here today. Uh, I'm leaving, when am I gonna come back? I don't know, I hope soon. What scares me the most, I don't know when they're gonna be back. I just want us to be together. I just want them to be there when I graduate. Your mom was telling us that she expects you nothing but greatness out of your ladies. Yeah, because the love and support of my parents, it makes me live every single day. Now, efforts by Senator Dianne Feinstein to get a last minute stay from Maria and her husband who have lived in the U.S. for more than two decades was denied. Now, Maria says she has been working up until the last minute at her job as a nurse.